good morning i hope you're all good i hope you're all well we've done it we've made it to the end of the week it is friday it is uh 4 13 in the a.m um and we have made it to the end of the work end of the work end of the week um it is double early i can't lie but we're here we're thriving we're feeling it we're doing it um, foot down Friday is a go. I don't know why I'm air drumming, but yeah. So plan for today. Um, actually, we got a bit of a an interesting one. Um, I'm doing my usual wood chip to the power station. That is a constant in life. Two things in life are guaranteed. Three things: taxes, death, and Pete will be going to a power station in the morning. That is just a given. Um, then. We are going to Bristol. Now, this is a new job for me anyway. I don't know if any other drivers have done it. I've never been there. I don't even have an address. Uh, I know where I'm loading out of, and all I got told was, ask them for a site induction. They'll, uh, they'll give you the address. And off you go. So that's the plan for today. That is what we're doing. Um, and then we've got a... Reading, Reading to the burner on our way back down. So we're a busy people today. We are busy. Uh, fingers crossed. It's not going to be a bad old day. Uh, before we do any of that though, we need to get some ablu. So we're going to do that. We're going to get out the road. We're going to get going. So let's crack on. Okay, well, the plan was to get ablu. It doesn't appear to be working. That's an issue. <laughs> okay, right, well, we'll have to get some on the pump later. That's not a good start for the Friday, is it? Ooh, what's going on there? I'm assuming it was night closures of some point. It appears to be being lifted now, anyway. Oh, four, thought, yeah, it's about right for night closures, isn't it? Oh, well, good news, everyone. Uh, for the first time in I don't know how many weeks, I am filming a YouTube video, and it's not raining. There is no rain in the air. I feel like, like I said, every time I go to film, the heavens open. But not today. Today is a drop. Well, it's early. I don't want to jinx it, but at the moment, today is a dry day. Um, and we are here for it. It is July, by the way. So to actually get a summer would, would be nice any time this year. Of course, the news and the government will then come out and tell us it was the warmest July on record as they have done every other month this year. And it's like, do you think? Do you think it was because I've been freezing? June, April, May, all of that was cold and it was wet and it was miserable then they had the cheek to tell us it's the warmest on record it damn well wasn't do you not think i'd go outside anyway that's a round for another day uh, that went off somewhere <laughs> things have been harboring um yeah it'd be nice actually it is meant to be ridiculously hot today so they say well so we hope anyway i mean yesterday was nice as well and today is meant to be very nice. Whether it ends up being very nice is another story, but we can hope, we can remain optimistic. I mean, look at, look at the sunrise, man. That's quite nice, actually. It's quite nice, actually. Um, I'm quoting films again. That was Ali G. If you know the scene, well, if you know, you know. Uh, right. Sound. <clears throat> Onwards we go. So we have arrived. Uh, as usual, Steve is in front of me. He'll be loading first, as he always does. Um, they're not actually open yet, so let the gates open. Steve will go in and load, and then I... I will do what I do best, put a light on so you can actually see me. Uh, and that is jump on my bed and have a nap. Um, that's basically the plan for this morning. It's been a long week. Um, and yeah, today is no different. I will be doing exactly that in a minute. As soon as them gates open and he's backed in, 
I'll pull up to where he is. We're on the bed. Lights out. So I will catch up with you in a bit when there's something to show. Peace. Yeah, don't worry about it. Just park your car there. It's not like I'm trying to reverse in or anything. Literally parked exactly where I wanted to be. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Right. Here we go. See how we get on. I've just woken from my nap. Very often I awake from my naps a rather grouchy person. <laughs> so my apologies. Right. Oh, I'm coming at this from a different angle today as well. How are we getting on? All right. So whether we're all right on this side now. Yeah, plenty of room. Oh, right, I'm awake. Just. This is very annoying. This is exactly where I wanted to put my cab. And he saw me go there. And then he just parked in front of me, looked at me and got out of his car. Well, do you know what? You can wait for me now. How does that sound, bud? Yeah? He's just, why are you now just stood at the back of my trailer? Or down the side of my trailer? Oh, Jesus. We love it. How dare I consider even holding him up for, you know, a second longer than I should. You can get in my way, though. It's fine. Come on. <clears throat> we on? Just about. Oh, we're going to need a little shunt. There we go. Just had to get away from the waybridge there. It was just getting a bit tight. Okie doke. In we go. Yes. In line. Lovely. Pop her over the bridge. Reverse down the back. Parallel park. And we're away. And then old uh, one of our other drivers can get in there as well. He's loading rubbish up the front, so he can back straight in once I'm out of his way. Oh, I'm a bit tight on this side on the way bridge. Oh dear. No, we're at home. We should be okay. Just gonna keep my eyes a little bit closer on this side. I've got a lot more room here than I do here. I've got a bit tight. However, gonna be all right? Yeah. We we'll be fine. The only problem with Weybridge is, if you get it wrong, <laughs> there's not a lot of room to correct yourself. But it's okay. We survived. Now we're off of it. Now we can have a bit of a swing and correct ourselves around. Lovely stuff. Right, let's open these nets and reverse down the back. Okay. We are loaded, it is quarter past six in the morning and the sun is out so we can confirm definitely, definitely not raining, which I see only as a positive. You let me go? Yep, good man yourself. Okay, right, um, take that quite wide. Yes, all is well, lovely. Right, okay, I will catch up with you at the power station probably, or if something interesting happens along the way. Let's go. So, how's your week been, Pete? Um, ups and downs. Um, was wronged by a parcel company. And this story, I mean, this isn't lorry related at all, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. So, I spend my money now on pillows because, you know, you can't beat a comfortable night's sleep. Uh, so I've ordered some new pillows from my flat. Premier Inn pillows as well, just saying, my like, top drawer. So I've ordered them, not going to name the parcel company, but, you know, from it, as it goes on, you'll probably be out of guess. Um, orders confirmed, three to five days delivery, mid. A week later, 
still no pillows. I want the pillows. So I've got on the tracking info. We have it. Now the day's gone past. We have it. This is wrong. So I've got to do... Obviously you can't just ring and speak to anyone anymore. You have to do the web chat. And I make where's my parcel. Uh, let me look into it for you. Okay, five minutes passes. Right? Now bear in mind, when you do these web chats, yeah, you can, they can ignore you for like 10 minutes. If you don't reply to them within about 30 seconds, they start getting shirty. Are oh, you still there, sir? Are we still connected? Where are you? If you don't reply, they just cut you off, which I think is rude, because you'd have to sit there waiting for them. Anyway, going off on a tangent. So, I messaged him, where's my parcel? Let me look into it for you, sir. Okay. Ah, we can see from our records that we've attempted to deliver this multiple times. And you have not been in. I was like, that is waffle because you've not sent me any emails. Your tracking hasn't updated. I've had no communication saying we're attempting to deliver your parcel today. Nothing. I was like, well, when are you going to re-deliver it? And do you know what he said? He said, we're not. Sir, it is absolutely impossible, impossible for us to be able to attempt to re-deliver it because we've already tried three times. I was like, the heck you have. Do not lie to me. Right, so what do we do? Where do we go from here? Because I want my pillows. Um, well, sir, I can arrange collection from your local depot for you. Where's that? Reading. Reading is not local. Reading is for... Oh, look, there's a front runner lorry. <laughs> Used to work for them. Hello. Um, Reading's not local. Reading is miles from where I live. All right, fine. You're not going to re-deliver it. No, sir. That yeah, is impossible. Fine. All right, we can arrange it. You have a week. This was on Tuesday. You have a week. Uh, we're open between 10 and 6, Monday to Friday, and we're open between 10 and 12 on a Saturday. People work Monday to Friday, parcel firm. Why are you open for two hours on a Saturday morning? Surely that's when people are going to use their weekends to go and do their general life happening. No, no, you can come between these hours. I'm a lorry driver. Do I know what time I'm going to be finishing? Absolutely not. But there we go. Anyway, so happy that Wednesday, Wednesday, I think, I actually managed to nick half decent finish time. So I went and got my pillows, and I'd like to report to you, they were worth the money. Was it worth the stress? No. But the pillows, the pillows are good, and I'm sleeping very comfortably at night. Just want you all to know that I'm a relaxed, well-rested man. I seem very aggy today, I'm aware of that. I'm usually quite an angry man, but it wronged me. And I don't like being wrong. Right, um, onwards, I suppose. And we have made it. Um, lovely. Up goes one thingy. Uh, there's a lorry just coming out. So, yeah, we'll let him clean up, tidy up, send it on, and then we're good to go. Weight transfer, just to make my life a little bit easier. Just takes the weight off the uh, drive axles. Just so you steer, it makes your steering feel a little bit lighter. Easier to manoeuvre. I did get told yesterday that someone might be able to confirm this apparently. If you put your weight transfer on while your lorry is moving, it only takes a ton off your drive axle. If you do it while you stop, um, it takes more off. Don't know if that's true or not. Uh, but if you do know the answer to that, just let me know, because I'd actually be curious to see if that is true or not. Uh, where am I going? Over here, somewhere. Yeah. Somewhere back here is alright. Probably. Do you remember what I say about Fridays being terrible? I stand by it. My headboard's just got jammed in the back of the trailer. Um, it walked all the way out, and I went to push it back, and it's just got jammed. So, there's a little something we can try. Downhill. Slam the brakes on. Downhill. 
slam the brakes on. See if that frees it. Uh, we'll have a look when we get to our next job. If it hasn't, may have to use some more physical force on it. Um, fingers crossed that will get it. Uh, where are we? Little bit. Yeah, there we go. We're good. We're on. We're through. Hopefully that will free it. Or we're going to have to use a hammer. <laughs> it worked. Dab of the brakes and she's gone straight back. An embarrassingly weak moment for me. I can't lie, I was putting all my body weight into it, ramming it, trying to get it free and it wouldn't. Little dab of the brakes, straight back. Happy days. Anyway, as you can uh, probably tell, um, I'm here. I'm all inducted. <coughs> um, I passed my test. It is a bit like going back to school when you do these things, do you know what I mean? It's like, um, you turn up and then you sit in a little room and they give you a little PowerPoint presentation all printed out and you've got to read it and then you've got to fill out a little questionnaire and tick the boxes and you've got to get all the questions right or you can't go in. Um, um, I, uh, well, one of ours is here ahead of me. I'm assuming once he's, I'm guessing he's doing the same job as me. He's loading now. And then I guess once he's loaded, I'll be up next. So, what I'm going to do is just sit and chill. Um, it's quite hot in this cab. The sun is beating in. It's quite uncomfortable, but hey ho. Going to chill out for a bit, wait for him to get loaded. Then hopefully I'll get loaded. And we'll be on our way to Brazil via a petrol station because we need diesel and Apple. Okay, they are ready for me. So, I need to reverse into this gap here apparently try and avoid the train as well that would be most helpful yeah we'll be all right with that we should avoid that trip mm, well no maybe not yeah no we're good avoiding the train it's not a lot of room here actually it's a bit tight right avoid the train it's a weird sentence to say i'm a lorry driver and i'm dodging trains if I straighten that up. Aha! Lovely, that'll do. We're in. How far are we in? I don't know, but... I reckon that'll do. I reckon we're good with that. Right, tag down. Let's go! And we are loaded. It is 9am. Um, we are lit for Bristol. Can't see out of it. I hate coming out of here because it's literally blind and I don't know if anything's coming. Because there's, a, yeah, no, we're good. We're good. All is well. So I don't particularly like merging back onto the A4 from here either. Should we see how we get it? Oh, oh, there's nothing on it. Right, that'll do. Go, go, go. That might be the easiest and the smoothest I've ever got back on the A4. Uh, where's lorries? Huggivers. Huggivers? Ah, no, not that one. Where the hell are the lorries in here? No Huggivers in there. That's, what's that, coach? Ah, Huggivers. Here we go. Oh, look. Frosty's in here. Hello, mate. He's come in for a little break as well, is he? Uh, where can I park? Is that parking? No, that's it. Oh my look, wow, there's many parking places. There's Frosty Lad. Alright, I think we will park. I think we'll just park around here. This will do for me. Are these the parking bays, are they? I don't, I don't know where. Alright, oh, I've got you. Alright, the lines are parking. Jesus, how bad am I at this? Uh, here? I'm happy. Uh, do you know what? Let's just pull up to the end it. Yeah. I don't even know if I'm in... No, hang on. N narrow lines are for parking. Wide lines are for driving in. I'm parking here. That'll do. Right, handbrake. That's really confusing. <laughs> okay. Actually, you know before I have a break, there is business to attend to. My trailer 
has to have surgery. So, I was chatting to one of our drivers uh, who's going up here and he was telling me that apparently uh, if your doors stick out like mine do, they won't let you tip. So, trusty blade of choice. I did a practice cut of this earlier to make sure the knife does go through. And now, just a case of cutting through. Um, before anyone says anything, yes, I have had permission. I spoke, I spoke to uh, Ed, I gave him a ring there. I said, before I cut my trailer to bits, I said, do you mind? He said, no, do what you gotta do. Now this isn't gonna be a clean job, but yeah, it will be fine. Right. That is by no means the cleanest job in the world. However, that is a lot better than what it was. Those doors should now open flush with my trailer, which is what they didn't do before. Time will tell if that has worked. I think it should have. I'll get that all tidied up properly later with an angle grinder. But for a little knife, she's done the job. Okie dokie. We are filled up. We've had a break. We are ready to hit the road. Uh, what do we put in? We put in 333 litres of diesel and 48 litres of Ablin. She thirsty. Okay. Let's get going. Final push. Onwards and upwards. Sun's out. It's a beautiful day. Let's go. Way bridge. Oh, we've got to take that quite wide. Okay, let us book ourselves in. Well, we have arrived. There is a bit of a queue, but we made it. I can't lie, I got here and <laughs> I pulled on the bridge. And the induction I did this morning, apparently Microsoft is down worldwide. So I got here, went on the bridge, wasn't booked in. So he, that induction did, just had to redo it. It's fine, that is technology, isn't it? it is what it is. But we're in, we're here, we're in the queue. I ain't got a clue what I'm doing. Try to work it out as we go. I'm just going to follow what the people in front of me do. It's a good plan. And we are tipping. Um, the difference it makes having them stoppers cut off my doors is incredible. Hang on, let me show you. My door's actually open flush. Look, it's brilliant. We are off. Good little tip that actually. Not bad. Um, <laughs> They do make you sweep up your mess. If anything drops off the back of your trailer onto the floor, you got to get your broom out and uh, give it a little brush. Brush? A little, little brush. <laughs> but, handy enough, it is one o'clock. So we'll be out of here in the next two minutes. And we are lit for Reading. Got to take it nice and slow down the hills. Five mile an hour limit. Onto that bridge. And we are gone. Do you know what? For a first time, we'll take that. Nothing's broken, nothing's damaged. We haven't been banned. I'm a happy man. Sheepies! Look at all the sheepies! I like the little baby sheepies. Baby lambs. Becky would approve of that. A whole lorry full of baby lambs. They're quite cute. Uh, I quite like them. Very sweet. I don't actually think Becky likes sheep, but you know. I'm a fan of that. I'll be on channel two at the moment. I got told. Oh, that's going to be a bit awkward to spit. Oh, no. No, no, it's not. Shut up, Pete. You're talking absolutely. Hey, mate, what can I do for you? We'll be alright. We'll spin it around. Oh, what can I do for you, mate? Might be a wee bit I think tight. I've got looking for you on channel two now. Give them a minute. Yes. She's round. Beautiful. Right. Back it onto oh, here. Get loaded. Get gone. Get up the road. Or down the road, technically. God, they're chatty on there today. Oh, spin around. On she goes. I think we're in the right place. Yeah. That's a drive. You should pull right forward now, mate. That'd be lovely. Perfect, thank you. No worries, bud, thank you. Right, let's go. 
Tell you what though, we don't mind this because we're getting loaded from both sides. We've got two shovels, one there, one there. We'll be in that in five minutes. That is what we want on a Friday. Right, we are loaded. Let's get out of here. Cheers, lads. Have a good weekend. See you later. Right, my day now rests. What happens when I come around this corner? Please don't be queuing out onto the. He's not. He's not queuing out onto the road. That is a positive. <gasps> there's no queue. There's no queue. I don't want to jinx it, but there is no queue. On a Friday afternoon at 10 to 4, and you're telling me there's no. I'm not. I'm not complaining. <gasps> Big inhale. Is that? <gasps> there's literally no one here. Oh, this is the best news you could get on a Friday. Right, now we just pull up here, sit, wait. Oh, what gate have we been given? Oh my God, I'm straight on a gate. This has never happened. Didn't even have to pull the handbrake down. I'm straight on a gate. Oh, I'm getting excited. I'm, oh God, excitement. This is unbelievable scenes in here today. One, two, there we go. Oh my God. Right, relax. It could still all go wrong yet. Uh, weight transfer on. Spinny roundy. You spin me right round. Oh, sugar, I nearly did spin myself out there because it's a bit slippery. It's a bit skiddy. Right. Take her round slowly. And now I've cut the doors back as well. My doors should fit quite nicely in the bay here. Yes. Yes. A little bit more. Now wind it off. I'm not quite straight, but we can straighten up here. Yes. Happy days. Little swing round onto there. Back round that way. We're nicely in line. Spot on. I've never been able to get fully into the bay here. And now we are all the way in. And we're tipping. And there's many rooms down the side of my doors. This is just brilliant. Today is a good day. Even on this side, we got loads of room. It's brilliant. And we're done. We are finished for the day. It is quarter to five. That was a 13 minute turnaround from driving in the gate to driving out. 13 minutes. That is unheard of. Um, I've never done it that quick in all my life. There was a bit of traffic um, on the M25. Well, no, the M4 and then a bit on the M25 getting back to the yard. But we made it. We're back. We're done. Life is good. It's Friday. It's 31 degrees. The sun is out. I'm going home. Thank you for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Do all that good stuff there. I hope you're all good. I hope you're all well. I'll catch up with you on the next one.